Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello everyone, again I'm here to talk about a movie, Birds of Prey. It came out in late January, early February I believe. It stars Margot Robbie as Holly Quinn, a bunch of other characters. I guess it's a sequel or follow up to Suicide Squad. Now I'm familiar with the Birds of Prey in the comics, maybe the beginning of it not so much lately so this could be a rotation or a team that is somewhat in the comics i liked some of the style maybe a little bit of the well the performances were pretty good i think i could say i enjoyed that something about the movie doesn't come together well for me it's a little seems just jointed and clunky i don't get a um a really good uh satisfaction from getting through the movie so there are parts i like there are certain setups that are pretty good and they try things here and there that i don't agree with and i don't know if i would say i'm disappointed in the movie or you know i take it as a action flick uh, i'm not sure if it's still in the dc extended universe or expanded universe whatever they're calling it I'm going to guess it is because they do use the joke or oh, the Suicide Squad. Okay, so I'm not going to give any spoilers or major plot reveals, but it is a direct tie-in in a, in a sense. So I'm going to say it is part of the DCEU. I don't know. I mean, I can't even say I had a lot of fun. Um, there's things to enjoy. There's things that annoyed me. There's, uh, I think, a lack of a cohesion to the movie. And I could pick out Ewan McGregor's performance is pretty good. And I think Margot Robbie nails the character. But maybe it's uh, it's what the characters have to, and the actors have to work with. Editors that want to go with a different feel. Maybe try new things, if that's... Uh, to give them some credit, maybe this didn't work for me. But I wouldn't be surprised if people go to the movie and say, oh, you know, I had a good time. You know, I wasn't expecting a uh, uh, in-depth, uh, cerebral plot or anything. And I, I could see that. Uh, like I said, uh, I think there's a good points and bad points to it. Overall, I would say it's okay. It's... One of the weaker DC movies, yes, but it's, I don't think it's bad. And I'll give most movies a pass to an extent. I don't, um, I don't like, uh, shitting on a movie too much. Well, maybe, you know what, maybe it's the mood I'm in. <laughs> I guess sometimes I do enjoy shitting on something that I feel might be worth it or something that means a lot to me. I'm human. What this just feels like a clunky sequel to Suicide Squad centered on Harley Quinn and the antics she gets involved in the bringing together of a group. And I didn't like, like, I like her as an actress, but I didn't like Renee Montoya in the movie. Like, it didn't fit my version or my idea of who the character should be played by and i guess she does a good job uh i just don't like what a lot of the characters were given their roles here and there the story kind of annoyed me and so i'm a little half and half on this movie i won't be surprised if people like it and enjoy it but i'm not gonna recommend everybody go out and see it I don't think that'll be something I would do. Maybe I'll come up with some fucking rating system. Like, so this movie is a uh, uh, bad cocaine high. <laughs> it's just a 
sometimes seems repetitive. It has to explain itself. And in the end, doesn't come together so well. Uh, like most action flicks, it serves its purpose, I guess. It's not one of my favorites. I guess that'll be all for this. I wanted to like it, though. I wanted to enjoy it. I really liked her in Suicide Squad. And I liked her in this, so... Just the movie didn't work as a whole. Better luck next time. I hope it made money either way. I'm not sure if it did. My instincts tell me no. So it might have lost on that front. So I don't really recommend people to go out, but check it out when you can. And I don't think if you do go see it, you're going to be angry or upset. Uh, but who knows? I'll talk to everybody next time. See you then.